What is happening, Marvel Knights? It is Marvel Knight here, bringing you another One Piece review video. Sorry it took me so long to get this one out. Decided that it's time to get this out, so we are going to do it. This is a bunch of episodes. I don't even know. I need to even check. Like I said, I, I haven't been able to control myself when it comes to watching anime, so I'm literally just binge-watching, but I don't want to flood you guys with series. So I wanted to kind of just make a few episodes, because I'm already on, like, episode 30, uh, 20, uh, like 27, 30, somewhere like that. I kind of, and I don't want to, like, rush you guys on all that, so we are just going to do, this is episodes 2 to 4. We're just going to do 2 to 4 for now, and then we can do this later. So when we left off, Kobe and Luffy have joined forces, and they are on their way to Marine, the Marine Island where Rolando Zoro is waiting. As you guys know, as you guys watch the series, that is the pirate hunter turned pi pirate, but you guys don't want to know that yet. We, uh, like I said, I've already read, I read the manga, so I'm already way ahead of this, but I thought I'd rewatch it. And one of my favorite YouTubers is watching it, so I decided to watch it with him. So we are going to do, so we, they have finally arrived at there of course luffy never would have made it if kobe hadn't been there because of course Co luffy has no sense of direction so he's the worst navigator ever luckily kobe is really good at it so they were able to find their way they have arrived at marine island and it turns out that morgan as an captain morgan is not as well liked in the village as you would have thought because the people are scared of him no matter when you mention his name everyone's like jump back. And of course, when they said Zora, they jump back, but that's more of a thing where, like, because they're so afraid of him because you mess with him, you die. So it's one of those things where, like, even the mention of his name is tensifying. So we've gotten to the point where Kobe is like, something must be a little wrong here. Luffy doesn't care. He's like, ha, ah, what a funny town. I love this. But we got that going, so that's all good. So Kobe and Luffy go to the front to go find Zoro, and they find him tied out at the front to a pillar, and they find out that well, first, uh, this boy named Hell, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna start calling him Got Kid with the Wheel Hair because he's got like this long name, but he shows up, mocks um, uh, um, Zoro a little bit, kicks around a girl that made that hard made it hard to make these rice balls, but she used sugar instead of instead of salt, so he smashed them to the ground. Typical douchebag of anime. Luckily, we'll get to see him get his comeuppance later on, but uh, she gets thrown out. Luffy comes in. Starts talking to Zoro about this and whatnot, about how this... Zoro, being a nice guy, says, hey, I want to eat that, even though it's covered in dirt. Let me have it. Eats every last bite, tells him it's good. Typical Zoro. I love Zoro. So then we leave. They meet up with the girl. Luffy tells her about what Zoro did. And then she goes on about how Zoro was captured, how she was he was saving her from a, from um, um, Hell Pinos, whatever. Um, Hatha Morgan's son's dog. So... Um, the son made a, a bet with him that if you can go an entire month without eating, we'll let you go and save the family. Because if I tell my father about them, they, she, she will most likely be killed. So you do this for me, blah, 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 blah. So he agrees. But then we find out that he is a lying, conniving little douchebag. So he lied to Zoro and was going to have him um, executed the very next day. So Luffy gets pissed off and punches him straight in the face. And tells Kobe that he wants to recruit Zoro to his pirate crew. So that's all nice and good. So Luffy goes back to talk to Zoro. Says, hey, join my crew. Zoro's like, yeah, pathetic. I'm not going to join your little pirate crew. Luckily, Luffy is able to convince him. Well, not convince him, but he says, hey, you use swords, right? And he's like, yeah, but he took them from me. Well, how about this? I'll get your swords back, and I will not give them back to you unless you join my crew. Cool, a little bit of blackmail action there. That's why I like Luffy. So Luffy goes to go take, um, to go find them. He goes over to the tower where Captain Morgan and his, his subordinates are creating his statue, lifting it up. Luffy comes up to try to find them, and he accidentally smashes the statue, which of course makes Captain Morgan want to kill him. But luckily, Luffy finds Luffy is able to find Captain Morgan's son and runs into the building to go find the swords. While Captain Morgan is dealing with Kobe, who has snuck onto the the uh, execution ground so that he can go and uh, bring Zoro back. So Luffy finds the swords, and he manages to uh, find the swords and get back down just before Lu um, Captain Morgan and his navy men are, are doing a shooting range, a shooting execution style against Zoro and Kobe. Luffy jumps in the middle, 
blocks them all and gives us his famous line, My name is Wookie D. Luffy, Kaizi Kun, Varavonada. And if you guys don't watch the anime, you don't. That means my name is Monkey D. Luffy. I'm gonna be the king of the pirates. I just like saying it in the Japanese. But he blocks it, gives us the thumbs up, uh, just in time. Untie Zoro just as the swords are coming to slice him, blocks him, and we have a fight: Luffy versus Captain Morgan and Zoro. So then um, the Captain Morgan son, being a douchebag, puts a gun up to um, Captain um, Kobe's head. Almost kills him, but then we get, he gets a gum gum pistol straight to the face. Captain Morgan is finished off by Zoro in his three thorns sword style. And we have a Zoro as part of the crew, which he's not very impressed with Luffy's ship and his lack of crew members, but we'll have to deal with that one later. Kobe, they, they are forced to leave because the Marines find out they're pirates, and of course they can't let them stay. And Luffy has to put on a charade in order to save Kobe so that he is able to join the Marines because they will never let him join if they find out he was a pirate. Well, cabin boy, but still, they would look down on it. So he is able to join the Marines because of the charade, salutes Luffy goodbye with the Marines too, and then of course they can't eat. I'm like, I'd be that one guy in the back like, wait, you're signing us up? I'm not going to sign up for this. You're saying I got to go a month without eating just because I did this. Mm -mm, screw that. I don't think so. But yeah, so they all salute them, they say goodbye, Luffy and Zoro are on their way, Luffy's going toward the Grand Line, but we will know if that's not exactly how that's going to work, but we have our first crewmate, Zoro the Pirate Hunter, and as you guys know, I'm already way ahead, but I thought I'd let you guys know how it is going with my journey, and I hope you guys will enjoy it too, and th that is the end of today's review. I know I was going to do a few more, but I, I want to do one arc at a time, so you guys can give you a little more, so tomorrow... We will have Captain Buggy coming to the scene. Like I said, I already know what's coming up soon, so I can know what the next arc is going to be. But it's going to be fun. Cannot wait for Captain Buggy. Again, well, for you guys, Captain Buggy. But I hope you all enjoyed my review for episodes 2 and 3. If you did, make sure you leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And make sure you guys keep yourselves updated so you don't miss even a little bit of my content. And, of course, the gameplays will continue. Hope you guys will enjoy that. But without further ado, I will see you all in the next one. Hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you later. Peace out.